to anybody who reads a lot, um, you'll realize on any given topic, on any subject, there's almost a million things to read. A million. How do you know what to read or how do you know what not to read? Do you have theories that make sense to you or theories that don't make sense to you? I, for example, when we go on the top of methodology and a theoretical framework, you got to know what theories you're looking at because they are the borders, the parameters of what you're studying. Now, how I approach it is, I've done all research before I start writing. So let's say I have two authors I like. Well, only two authors read, okay, I understand them. Again, you all must know there's some authors who everybody talks about the greatest authors you will, although they don't understand a thing they say. Standard draft. I look at the authors, I understand, and then I go to bibliography. See who they understand. <laughs> and then that helps me to guide what I'm going to read. Otherwise, you're just going to be reading, reading, reading. And then another thing, which we talk about again on Thursday, you need to know when to stop. There's a time when you're going to stop. Otherwise, you will never finish any project. Again, in this component of study, to the effect of outline some of the relevant theoretical information related to the international competitiveness, things you write. So that was just for me, information contained in text as well as supported readers. So you got to know what theories you're going to use. But again, if you don't use theories, you're going to write will you need. And therefore, sometimes you find that you may write 20, 30 pages, you give it to a supervisor, and it comes down to two. Anybody ever had that experience? No. no. It happens. It happens. No. Because you've got to tighten your theoretical perspective. You've got to understand your conceptual framework. What it is that I'm trying to study, what is the parameter of that study, what theories am I going to use to inform that study. And even though you may start with basic theories, from your readings, other theories may jump out. And then you have to go and explore those theories and incorporate it into your own. Okay. With your lit review, is there like a standard amount of readings your supervisor looks for? Like Good that? question. Um, I can do for myself. For every C paper, the lit review, you can't read less than 50 pieces. Absolutely impossible. And I tend to advise people, even though I know you all because if you like to use a lot of internet sources and newspapers and stuff. I mean even peer review journals. I mean a lot of times you use, you use chapters of books and stuff. But again the problem is uh, like with me. I look at your bibliography. If you tell me you read Arthur Lewis 1976, guess what? If I didn't happen to read it. I'm going to read it. If you tell me to read chapter 2, I'm going to read chapter 2. And that's why a lot of times, journal officers are more pointed to me. Unless you don't have a very good understanding, you tend to take large chapters. 